assalamu alaikum everyone i am back with another video and today i'll be telling you about sn record picker so most of us have the requirement that uh, uh, in the back end of our table we we use we use uh, many fields type as reference but how do we use in the portal so this is the thing which which uh, we can use in the portal as reference and today i'll be showing you a widget where we can search an incident with problem so let's get started so i'll name it as search incident and i'll save it i'll open it in it in the editor So I'll first take a panel Okay now I'll need a heading with style as background color i'll take it the same color as my home page color should be in white like the text color should be in white and text align should be in center now i'll take a class where i'll just put an icon search icon with style as color white okay and i'll write as search incident with problem and i'll give a class panel body where i'll place the sn record picker with style equals to with 100% okay so i'll just save and i'll enable the preview so yeah i hope this is fine now i'll be adding in the body the table with style as with 100% i'll take a row with same width as 100% and i'll take a column where i'll put the sn record picker so this style should be of 80% with because i'll tell you the reason behind this i hope you will understand when you will see the whole video why i've taken it as 80% so sn record picker see the syntax it's important where i'll take the field as problem means how you will call this in record picker table i need to take i'll give the table names so this is the table name problem display field is equals to so the display value of this table is your number so display field is your number value field equals to your sys id so there is one thing that everyone should remember that in uh, after this double quote there should be a single quote for a any um, 
table name or any field name or any value uh, name and search fields should be the display field name number and page size of that it's in record like when the search uh, if you click on the search like what is the what should be the page size it should be 100 and this is my send record picker so if i save so see it is coming and here i can get all the problem numbers fine so now the thing is i need to take the sys id whenever i'll just uh, click any of the problem so there is a client script right which where i will write and i'll take the sys id i'll pass it to do to the server side so i need the scope here so c dot data dot problem i'll take where i'll pass the sys id and then i'll pass it to the server side this value uh, scope dot problem is which is which was the field name in my send record picker okay uh, display value of this should be your number okay and uh, value should be your sys id okay and uh, name should be your problem and this should be again In this one like this so and then I'll call a function scope dot on where any field changes so the function is called function event comma params parameters okay where uh, in c dot data dot problem i'll pass the sys id scope dot problem dot value so scope dot problem is your this one and value is this one so i'm getting the sys id and i'll just c dot server dot update that's it uh, semicolon here okay now i am getting the sys id here okay i'll go to the server side what i will do i'll take a i'll take a variable where i will pass all the sys id of the incident table and i'll pass to the html okay so how do i do that input dot problem because i have taken data dot problem here so input dot problem here to see if the input like any number has been selected or not uh, so I'll just glide record with the incident table so if you go in the incident table here we can see that there is already a problem here okay a problem field is already present so I just pa have to pass the sys id of the selected problem so the field name is problem underscore id comma input dot problem okay inc dot query if inc dot next okay so what i will do search number i'll pass the sys id of this incident so the point should be noted here is sometimes sys id inc dot sys id if you pass it doesn't work in html so we use get unique value 
ओके सो एंड इफ दिस इंसिडेंट लाइक दिस प्रॉब्लम इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन द इंसिडेंट आई एल जस्ट पुट अ मैसेज that incident is not present for the selected problem okay now i'll save this one over here i need a search button right so why i have given 80% now you will know i will take another column where i'll give an input uh, i'll make a i'll take another field which will be hidden and i'll put the value which is coming from the server side here okay let's you just see style equals to i'll take with as 10% okay and uh, input type equals to hidden it should not be visible because i'm just taking the value from the server side and i'll place it here data dot search number i have already shown you guys how server side and uh, html values are passed so we directly use data here okay so and after this ng model i'll make a button this with also has to be 10% to make it 100 and i'll take a button with class equals to btn success okay and when it will get clicked i'll just call a function in the client side okay so c dot show problem is the function name where i'll just pass data dot search number okay and i'll give the name as search see i'll just save so i'll just see it in the preview whether it is coming properly or not yes it is coming properly now i need to create this function in the client side okay so c dot show problem equals to function the value means the sys id of that incident so if value is present if is not present then i'll just sorry if value is equals to equals to this blank then i'll alert please select any problem okay else i'll just assign it into another vid window okay window i'll just relocate the page so i need to add this window in the function okay so window dot location dot assign okay so i'll just give the same id which i have given here i'll just copy space it paste it here table but i'll give a filter filter equals to problem id equals to plus c 
c.data.problem okay so i'll just save it i'll put this widget in my page in my home page so that would be more easier for you to see open in designer I'll just add a search incident widget here okay and so it is it is coming very big so it just depends on you and click in the home page see it is coming here so I'll take some like for example I'll take this problem only so I'll take this problem and I'll do search please select any problem means the value is coming as blank So I need to find why it is coming as blank. There has to be something because value is coming as blank. I need to see in the server side whether. So guys let's see first whether the uh, what is the input dot problem add info message and just see whether the suicide is coming properly or not. Okay, so the problem is lying here because it is not able to get the input dot problem only. I have used problem instead of problem. So I'll just save it again and I'll test it. And if I search, so okay, I have not given the question mark here, which is important. I'll just save it. Okay, and in server side, I have to remove that add query, whatever I have added. I save it and refresh in the home page and I'll show you so this is the problem I'll just search
so okay i have added the problem id like this so this is my bad again i think so just because of my typing mistake see and save it again i'll test it again search it and see now it is coming properly so this is it guys if you have any questions or any requirement related to the portal then you can just mention it in the comment thank you guys thanks for watching